Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to compare baritone ukulele, tenor ukulele, and concert ukulele. The reason is because sometimes people are wondering which ukulele is right for me. Well, in order to figure that out, I have four questions for you. Number one, do you want a traditional ukulele sound? Number two, would you prefer a deeper, lower sound? Number three, why are you buying an ukulele? Is it because you want it to sound like that sound that you hear when you close your eyes and picture the ukulele? Or is it because you want to play other string instruments in the future? And number four, is your goal to transition to the guitar at some point in your life? If what you're looking for, the answer to question number one, is a traditional ukulele sound, then what you need is an ukulele that has strings G, C, E, and A. This is what it sounds like. This is a really traditional sound, and you can get this type of ukulele in different sizes. If you answered yes to question number two, you do want a deeper sound, then what you're looking for is the baritone ukulele. Now, if your goal is to transition to the guitar eventually, then the perfect instrument to do that with is the baritone ukulele. The reason I say that is because the strings are D, G, B, and E. These are the highest strings on, an, uh, on a guitar. Okay, if you're buying this instrument for your child, then I would recommend the standard, just traditional ukulele, not the baritone ukulele. Why? Because I'm a teacher and a lot of the music and uh, written for ukulele and a lot of the songs that kids want to play have the F chord. If you want to play F chord on this ukulele, it's really simple. It's just the green stickers on here, two fingers. But on the baritone ukulele, F chord is either this way, which means they have to bar and they have to play on all four strings, or they have to bar this way. And that complicates things for children who are just starting off. Unless they have some experience already with guitar, this is going to be really difficult and it's going to slow them down. As a teacher, my goal is always to build my students' confidence. So I would not start a, a student off on the baritone ukulele, see them fail, and see them struggle for a long time. I would much rather start off on a traditional ukulele, have them be successful, have them feel confident, and then grow into the baritone ukulele later on. And that's actually what I've done with a lot of my students. I had them on this ukulele for a year or two, and then once they were ready, I gave them the baritone ukulele. Once they were ready, I moved them to guitar. If you have any more questions about these instruments, please leave them in the comments below. I do respond to all of the comments just because I know it can be a daunting task to try and find an instrument that you're going to commit to that you're spending your money on. Speaking of spending money, if you are sure you know what you want and if you want one of these instruments that I showed you today, then go down to the description box below and click on the link. I have provided you the Amazon page where you can buy these beautiful instruments. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Alrighty, see you later. Bye.